How's it going guys? We are back on the Napkins24 account with another alt style video. Now in this one, we're going to be making an air orb alt. Now I wasn't actually going to make this originally, but there was a lot of support in the comment section. So I decided, you know what, if you guys want to see it, I will make it. Now the good thing about this alt is that the requirements aren't too bad. We are going to need 66 magic so we can cast the air orb spell right there. No, that's water. Charge air orb. There we go. So we're going to need 66. Now, I'm at 63. Now, if you guys really think about it, 66 honestly isn't that bad. You can telly for like 80k experience an hour. You could alk for like 60k an hour. But that is the only requirement. So let's get 66 and kind of jump right in the video. Now, I just made a bonus to peaches all that could get around 35k experience an hour. Now, that would definitely be the best route to take. If you guys actually want to see that video, I'll leave it in the top right corner. It's coming up right now. You guys can watch that. And that is definitely one of the best alts there are. I have no idea how it compares to this. But realistically, if I was going for 66 magic, that's how I would do it. But I want to make it more relatable for you guys. Since I know bonus to peaches is a pretty high requirement thing for an alt. So I decided, you know what, we're just going to alk it and take this approach right now. So we bought ourselves 1k alks. I have no idea this is close enough. But we're just going to start with it and see what happens. But one nature rune and one yulong bow comes out to 811 each. And they alk for 768. Eight, so let's take 811 minus 768 and uh, that is only a 43 loss per alk that is not bad whatsoever so we're going to start alking these things and uh, get that 66 magic so we can start making some bank at air orbs 1k alks complete we are still around 550 alk short so what we're going to do is just buy 550 more u long bows and 550 more nature runes and then we're going to alk them all and get the level and then we could finally start making the gains guys so let's do it we are now coming up on the end of these alks now the 1.5k alks honestly only cost me about 64k so with that 64k cost we managed to get actually 100k experience in that time but there's that 66 magic look at this we can now charge air orbs now guys if you don't want to alk or if you don't have the level for alking yet there are a ton of other options you can do to train your magic on screen right now i'll have those other options so you have teleporting which is helena varrock Fally, cami all the way to 66 you could do some splashing whether it's the curse spells or splashing just fire strikes something really simple like that if you have the requirements for bones to peaches you can make the bones to peaches tabs or you can just make other teleport tabs in general a lot slower but you'd make a profit as well and also there is enchanting jewelry now if you guys want my honest opinion i would say get 66 by getting the requirements for bones to peaches just because it's also a viable alt you could always do if you get sick of air orbs or something like that so i'd get the requirements you get a decent amount of xp in the magic training arena oh and also hit that subscribe button now it's time to actually do it. So we're starting with one mil cash so we can find our profit at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy 800 orbs. Now I have no idea how many we could actually do in one hour, but I know it's less than 800. Oh wow, these are pretty expensive. All right, let's do 180. So these should sell. Okay, 800. Now this means for Cosmic Runes that we're going to need 800 times 3. So that is 2400 uh boom let's put that in there let's hope it sells awesome let's also get some stamina potions because i do feel like since i have such a low amount of agility i only have 15 agility so we're definitely going to need some um we'll just buy four right now if we need more we could always come back and lastly we're gonna need glories because that's going to be our primary teleport out now of course when we're done we could always just resell the glory so this shouldn't matter too much let's get like six because we have actually plenty of money boom should that sell? Awesome. Let's collect it all. So as you can see, the costs really aren't too much. This is probably more than the hour's worth, and that was only slightly over 500k. So it's, you really don't need too much input to start this method. So we're about to start off a trip. What you want is an air staff as well as an amulet of glory 6. The reason you want the glory is because you can tell you back to Edgeville to restart the next trip. And you also want a ring of dueling just in case you forget to actually change the glory and it's out of charges and you have no way of getting back. But for the inventory, what you want, since it's in the wilderness, we don't want to bring all of our stuff in the wildy bring 81 cosmics and the rest of your inventory with unpowered orbs that way if you die you're really not risking much let's see how much we're actually risking we're risking 12.5k so a 12.5k risk isn't really too big of a deal if you die it's not gonna like ruin the method or anything you just kind of get back into it hop worlds uh make sure you keep your private on friends or off so the pk cannot track you down but that is enough talk about death on a happier note let's jump into the hour and start getting these gains and see how much we can actually make in xp and gp in one hour Okay, the timer has started and uh, the hour has begun. See, the one thing that always kind of stopped me from making this all is the fact that it's a pretty big walk to the air orb itself. The whole thing that I like about alts is that they're very AFK, but this one seems to be a little less AFK. I'm excited to see when we actually get to the air obelisk how afk that will be because if we can get a good 50 seconds to a minute of just kind of chilling there then it'd probably be worth it 
Oh, and we have black demons. Okay, might need some food for this as well. But uh, I believe we just cast the spell like so. Um, charge orb. So I'm getting 76 XP per one, and they are coming really slowly. So this means it's actually probably very easy to kind of just chill here. Um, there's a PKer. You can't. Nice try, dude. And then when the inventory is done, we simply teleport to Edgeville because we're only in seven wilderness. Uh, we run over to the bank, deposit everything, take out 81 cosmics and a full inventory of unpowered orbs, and then repeat. So I just timed how many seconds of AFKing we get once we make it to the Obelisk of Air, and it's about 90 seconds. So that's a minute and a half of just straight AFKing. That is actually really good. I mean, it does suck that the walk is so long, but the minute 30 seconds of AFKing really does make up. These black demons also hit pretty hard, so running past, I just pop on Protect from Melee. I only have 10 defense, so I get hit pretty, pretty often. But if you guys don't have that, you can easily just buy wine from the Grand Ex Oh, oop, fuck. <laughs> totally just gold by mistake. Let's see how much we're actually making per inventory. Let's take out 81 cosmic rooms and a full inventory of unpowered orbs. Throw it up there. We're at 13635. Okay, cool. And now after we finish the trip, we got to take out 27 air orbs and then we get 29457. So now we find the difference. We check 29457 and subtract 13635. And we get 15822. So 15.8k is made every single inventory. We are now 59 minutes in, and this is going to be the last trip that I'm going to do because if I do another, it'll go way over the one hour mark. So if we take a look in the bank, Let's put it up there. We managed to do 513 air orbs. Now remember everything in the starting tab was one mil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell everything back to the Grand Exchange and everything over one mil that we have is gonna be the profit that we made. Everything from the one hour is sold. So all we need to do is collect it. And it looks like in one hour we managed to make 262K. Now, let me just say that first off, that's actually a decent amount of money to make on an all in one hour. It honestly is. The only concern that I have with this is that it's not as AFK as a lot of other methods out there. Now this is honestly a pretty good all, especially if you're doing something AFK on the main as well and you can afford to pay more attention to your all. The 66 magic is really not that high of a requirement and can be done in like 4-5 to five hours for a relatively cheap price. So I definitely give a thumbs up with this method and I'm glad I tried it out for you guys. But that is all I have for the video today. And guys, if you have any suggestions, do let me know down in the description. I'm always trying to make different style alt videos. And if you guys want to see a video, let me know and I'll definitely think about making it. I read all the comments. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.